Hi, and welcome. This is a Facebook series on Arizona Vote 2022, Did You Know? So let's now uh, move on to the independent voter. This would be like the, the, inform the main information that we would like to convey in show number two. And I would like to ask Gina, help us understand this matter of the independent voter when it comes to registering, voting in primary in general, whether you can change when or not. Please uh, help us understand this matter of the independent voter, because of, as I understand it, I believe some 30 percent of voters in Arizona are registered independent or, or, or something like that. Take it that's, away. That's right, David. We have a very large block of independent voters. So let's start by explaining what is an independent voter. So right now in Arizona, we have three recognized political parties. We have the Democratic Party, the Republican Party and the Libertarian Party. So when you register to vote, if you are not registered with one of those three recognized parties, you are considered an independent. So as, as we mentioned right now, Arizona has about 1.4 million independent voters. That's a very big portion of our electorate. Wow. Yeah, that, that's right. And so, you know, the rules change when you're an independent on how you can vote in each election. So it's important to talk about when you are an independent voter, you know, what does that mean when you're registering to vote and again, how to vote in those primaries. Um, so when you're registering to vote, your voter registration form is going to have either the Democratic Party or the Republican Party listed as an option or, or, or you pick other. Um, and if you pick other, again, that's going to put you in that um, category of being an independent voter. So what does that mean when it's time to vote? Uh, well, as, as we know, August 2nd, we're going to have our primary election this year. Arizona has an open primary. So what that means is that independent voters absolutely can vote. So when we have our primary elections, the purpose of the primary is to nominate. So we're not electing anybody in the primary. We're nominating candidates to advance to the general election ballot. So those nominees are coming from within the political parties. So the Republican Party, they have their ballot that has all of the Republican candidates that are competing against each other to advance to the general election. Same for the Democratic Party. The Democratic ballot has only Democratic candidates on it that are competing for the nomination to go to the general election ballot. So as an independent voter, if you want to participate, you have to select which party ballot you want to vote in. And you can only choose one. We, as Every voter, one vote, one ballot. So you have to choose, do I want to vote in the Republican primary? Do I want to vote in the Democratic primary? As I mentioned, we do have a third recognized party, which is the Libertarian Party. However, they have a closed primary. So independents cannot select a Libertarian ballot. So it's very important that if you are an independent voter here in Arizona, that you understand what the rules are so you know how you can participate. So when we get to the general election, Everybody gets the same ballot. It has those nominees from each party on there. So as an independent voter, you just get the same ballot in the general election as every other voter does. Gina Roberts from Clean Elections, thank you so much for helping us do this show. Great information. Thank you. Brendan Blake, Associate State Director for Advocacy, AARP Arizona. Thank you so very much. Thanks, David. Stay tuned. Uh, we will continue with this Facebook series. Uh, we'll uh, do more shows. So stay tuned and see you then. Take care.